Hello again. This is Mark French at Purdue University. I'm in the Department of Mechanical Engineering Technology, and this is another in a continuing series of videos on how to use MathCAD. Today I'd like to show you how to find centroids of general shapes using MathCAD. So we've got to start with a shape. Let's try half a circle, since that's an easy one to define. And we'll have a half circle with a radius of 1. There we go. And I'm going to put a plot in here. By the way, where it says insert graph, see that little uh, hotkey right there, the ampersand sign? I learned MathCAD back before the dinosaurs crawled out of the ocean and there was no windows, so we had to learn all those things. I remember all of them from a long time ago and sometimes use these hotkeys. If you uh, want to learn them, that's fine. And if you prefer not to, that's fine. Okay, well, that doesn't look right, does it? doesn't look like half a circle and the reason is that the plot is distorted. Those boxes should be square if they have the same dimensions. Let's try this. Yeah, let's see, that looks a little better. And there we go. That's about square. So that looks like half a circle, a semicircle. Now we're going to need to know the area at some point here. Well if the area is of a full circle is pi r squared, and radius is 1 here, then the area of half a circle ought to be pi r squared over 2. So that's pi over 2. It should be 1.57 something. Let's just check that. P, control G. By the way, if you want to use uh, Greek letters, there's two ways to do it. You can go to the toolbars and click the Greek uh, pull down menu, whatever you call this thing, and that's probably how you'll do it. The other way to do it is that every Latin letter, every letter on the keyboard, or almost every letter, has its own uh, Greek uh, partner. So if I say A and hit Control G, I get alpha. Well, for pi, you hit P and then Control G. And so there we go. That should be the area, right? Pi over 2. Let's just double check. We're going to need the area anyway. So let's say, now we're also going to need some integration limits. So let's go from minus 1 to 1. Let's just hardwire these in. And the reason I'm doing it this way is that uh, as I change these functions, I'll be able to change those. And the, the changes will cascade down through the uh, MathCAD file. Okay. Let's do this. Area is the integral from beginning to the end. And dx. Okay, well, if I did that right, then that ought to be 1.57, was it 08? There it is. Okay. So we've got the area defined. Now the, let me uh, clean this up a little bit. There, um, the moment or the uh, centroid is defined as a moment over an area, and the moment in either the x or the y direction is also defined using an integral. So let's define the moment in the x direction. Now this is going to be easy since this is symmetric we know that the centroid should be along the y-axis at x equals 0. This turns out to be a good way to uh, check our answer, or check our method, so let's do that. Okay, same thing, we're going to integrate from x1 to x2. Let me move that down a little bit. Okay, the moment is a distance, which is x times an area, which is going to be y of x times dx. Okay, just to reiterate, that is a distance times an area. Okay, and there's a number associated with mx, 0. Well, that makes sense. Since x bar, the moment in the x direction, equals moment in the x direction, whoops, in the x direction divided by the area. Well, if the moment is 0, then the x bar has to be 0. There we go. Just go through the, the uh, routine here. 
Now let's try something else. Let's make this a Y. Hang on, I gotta fix a few things. Now the moment in the Y direction is the, the area Y of X DX as before, but the distance is now Y over 2 because we're trying to find the vertical or the distance from the X axis to the center of a little box. The box being Y X time high and DX wide and that's the center. So it's Y of X over 2. Now I'm going to clean this up a little bit. I'm trying to cram too much into too small a space. There, let's do that. Now Y bar oops, is defined as M Y divided by the area and that is 0 0.42441. Well if you look this up in a table it says that the uh, vertical centroid of a semicircle is 0 0.2122 times the diameter. My diameter is 2 so there we go. We know we've got the right answer. Alright let's try something a little different now. I'm going to uh, let's see, let's get rid of that. Yeah, let's leave that for right now. Let's change this. Now I'm going to, there's going to be a bunch of changes as we cascade through the uh, file here. Let's do this. Minus x squared plus 2x plus 5. All right. Now I want to go from uh, the point where this crosses the x-axis on one end to the point where it crosses the x-axis on the other. These numbers right now aren't right. Well how do I make them right? Let's do this. In fact, let's get rid of that. Let's start with a, uh, let's see, let me, uh, let me fix this first. Let's make that minus 2 and 4. Okay, so now I've got a plot showing that my uh, where my parabola crosses the x-axis is somewhere in the neighborhood of minus 1.7 perhaps and plus about 3.5. Okay, now I'm going to do some moving around here. Actually, let's make this smaller now since I really am running out of room. Okay. I need to define, in fact, let's see how much farther I can push this up. See, I, when I push that up too far, it appears above where it's defined. So let me just push that up, and there it is again. Okay, so now I need to know, I'm just going to get rid of all this stuff. I'll type it in again later. Okay, I need to know where x1 and x2 are. Well, let's let's define, or let's guess that's it right there, and I'm going to define x1 as the root of y of x, with, and I'm interested in x, and there's x1. Okay, that's x1. Now if I want to find x2, I need to change my, in fact let's just do this, I need to change my initial guess and let's make that 4 and we'll make that x2 and that x2. There, so now I know what the integration limits are going to be. Alrighty. So how about if uh, I define the area as the integral from, just like before, x1 to x2 of y of x dx. Now this is getting a little little uh, sloppy there. The screen didn't redraw exactly like I wanted it to. So if I hit control R, that redraws the screen for me. Now let's find the moment in the x direction. Oops and do the same integral we did before x1 to x2 distance times 
an area and a moment in the y direction the integral of oops, of x1 to x2 of the distance which now is y of x over 2 distance to the center of that box times the area y of x dx all right so finally let's bring it on home here x bar is going to be defined as moment in the x over the area now i can tell you right now that this uh, parabola is symmetric about x equals 1 so if i did this right x bar will be 1 and it is and x y bar is going to be defined as moment in the y direction oops in the y direction divided by the area and it is 2.4 so there you have it now the way i've set this up i could change this expression to be just about anything and what i'm doing here is finding the centroid of the area above the x axis now, if you wanted to do an area above and below the x-axis, you can just change the integration limits. If I wanted to go from minus 2 to 4, I would include the area there above the x-axis and those two little areas below the x-axis. So this method is general, and you can use it for lots of different functions.